my opinion on Barnes is not as high as yours, obviously. But I think he is a good second or third piece to a, a better player. As the number one guy, I am I'm not on board. I don't think he is that guy. I don't think he's the guy you can build a franchise around. But it seems they have no choice, right? Well, I, 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 well, the idea of no choice. I think the idea more so at this point is, you know, yeah. I guess I guess you could put it that way. It's a, it's a uh, the reality is uh, again this year is not a great draft, so I don't think they're going to get a five star player. Right. A year exactly. from a year from now, I think their team will be better. Well, there and, and I think they'll be a competitive team next year. They have enough pieces in place to be competitive, so that's a good thing. The challenge is going to be, well, you do have your pick next year, uh, potentially, unless you you, uh, you fall below Memphis and suddenly, uh, you know, you have the number one pick this year. You have your number one pick this year, and that San Antonio gets it next year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that that's a better draft. There's a better potential of getting a guy. I, I, I really think this is going to have to look a lot like the exact same thing uh, that we saw the last time around, and that is you really got to hit on – you got to hit doubles. You got to hit a triple or two, and you get lucky with a home run. I think they hit – honestly, I think they hit a home run with Scotty Barnes. I think if you look at his draft class right now, you could argue if they re redid his draft class, he could potentially be the top guy, second guy in that pick in that class uh, instead of being the fourth. So I think they hit on him. Uh, the challenge is, uh, you know, you got to kind of hit some doubles and triples. And, right. and to, in my opinion, in my opinion, uh, you know, I, 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 I look at a guy like Barnes three years from now, I think uh, history will be favorable to him. I think he's a really, really good player. Is he a, a, I hate, I hate, I hate, I'll say it again. I hate the whole concept of this nonsensical narrative about, franchise player that teams put out that uh writers write about uh and he's a what is he 21 years old 22 years old it's way too much pressure on these kids and I, you know I'm, and and the team leader well you know some guys don't have great leadership qualities some guys do so i think a lot of it let's just let it breathe and play out if well, you uh, if, if you had ten minutes with Scotty Barnes and said, "Okay, Scotty, you got to do this, you got to do that," what, what what do you think he has to work on? I think he just has to take uh, content. I think he's made positive steps in every area of his game this year: uh, shooting, passing, rebounding, shot blocking, deflections, um, his on ball defense, his off ball defense. Uh, so to me, I think uh, the awareness level of a third-year player where the light is coming on is there. So he is one of those guys, uh, he's like a Swiss Army knife. He helps on so many fronts. His his gift, the beauty of his game is his versatility. I don't think he's a guy that goes into games saying, I got to get 30 tonight. He doesn't play that way. That's not his game. He's more of a guy that's grilled. Uh, if he could get out of a game and get, you know, 15 points, 12 rebounds and 11 assists, um, you know, my, he's more of a triple double guy and get you four blocks and two steals. Like he's that guy. So to me, uh, that's special. Uh, but is he ever going to wow you and, and get 30 a night? No, I don't think, I don't think that's his makeup. That's, I just think, Continue to bump your game up gradually and improve little by little. And I think if you look at him and you look at the guys he's in the category, he's, his statistical profile this year is with, uh, you know, in terms of, you know, points, rebounds, assists, he's in the category of, uh, you know, the Giannis, uh, Jokic, Doncic, guys like that. There aren't many guys doing what he's doing right now.